Hi again. Uh, here we are to continue with our exploration of uh, the login and, and register screens and managing those. Um, and so, so far we've got our login screen showing and we can log in and put the login screen away. But what if we want to switch to the register screen? So, you know, you're here. You've got, uh, you've got your login screen showing and then you want to click the register button and you want to switch this for the register screen. So what are we going to do? How are we going to handle that? Okay, so um, let's go to loginviewcontroller.swift and we already did the login button, but what happens when you tap on the register button? Okay, so what we'd like to do here is we'd like to um, dismiss this view, right? and then present register view controller okay so um, so how are we gonna do that well uh, what we're gonna do is this we're going to first get a reference to our presenting view controller okay so the presenting view controller is the view controller that presents this login view so for us if we go back to, or for this example, if I go back to storyboard, the presenting view is view controller here. So view controller presents the login view like this. And when we click register, we want to put this view away, dismiss it. And then when it's done, we want the presenting view to present the register view like that. Okay. And so it's a little tricky for us to have these views talk with each other, right? And so there's a couple ways to do this, but this will show you how to use a couple of the features that are maybe not so obvious in, in Xcode. So what we're going to do is, or actually I guess this would be in the Cocoa Touch library, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to loginviewcontroller.swift and in um, register button tapped, we'll say let presenting, let's do presenting VC or presenting view controller equal um, presenting view controller. It's this one, presenting view controller, right? And um, so this should be a reference to the view controller that's presenting us. And we need to get this first, okay? We need to get this before we dismiss the view because when we dismiss the view, it's going to go away and then we won't be able to ask it who presented, you know, who presented you, right? So this login view, when we put it away, it gets deleted. And then all of a sudden, at that point, we can't, we can't say like, okay, well, now we need a reference to something that the thing that just disappeared knew about, right? Um, right, because we want to wait till that view goes away before we present the register view, or wait till this view goes away before we present the register view. So we're going to get presenting view controller here. And then what we'll do is we'll say um, dismiss view controller animated, okay? And we'll say true. We want to animate the dismissing thing, right? And then in completion here, we'll use this completion block. So the best way to do this is to just highlight the little blue area here when you write this initially and then hit return. And then that'll just write the, the completion block for you so you don't have to type this all yourself, right? So, so what's going to happen is when we dismiss this view controller, when, when it finally goes away, like, because it, it'll animate, it'll take a moment, right? And so when it finally goes away, then it's going to execute the code in this block. And in here, we can reference this variable because it's inside of sort of a closure. Um, at least that's the way I see it, you know, coming from JavaScript, like JavaScript has these closures. And if you have a variable that's created inside a function, if there's another function or block running in there, it can reference any other variables inside the, the containing block, right? So, um, so anyway, so we've got a reference now. See, if we put this inside here, at this point, when the animation is completed, this view controller has been dismissed and removed and then we no longer have a reference to this presenting view controller, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to say um, presenting vc dot uh, oh actually you know we need that storyboard thing let's do this first let's say let register equal so first of all we'll have to actually my mistake we'll have to make 
um, an instance of the register view controller first. So we'll say register equals uh, storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier and then our view controller is and you can type it in there I'm just gonna copy it here like this remember if we click on this guy we can see his his storyboard ID is register view controller right Oops, uh, we want this one, right? So then we'll say, uh, we'll say, you know, register equals storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier. Our identifier is register view controller. And then we'll say, um, uh, presenting view controller dot present. Oops, let me do that again. Present view controller animated, right? And the view controller we want to present is register and we'll say true for the animation, okay? And then for the completion block, we can do nil, okay? Now we've got a couple problems here, right? So um, first of all, the presenting view controller, in order to do this, um, register is an optional here, so we'll have to unwrap it, right? You might want to do a little more checking, right? But like I said before, the instantiate view controller with identifier, you know, it might not be able to find, you know, something in storyboard with this name, so it might not, you know, it might return an optional, right? Um, so, uh, so we got that. And then I've got this other problem here, right? And it says, you know, implicit use of self in closure, right? So, the problem here is that um, storyboard belongs to our um, our view controller here. It has a reference to storyboard, right? And so, you know, we can't access that inside this closure, right? So what we'll do is we'll say um, we can either create this outside or create a reference to storyboard outside and then use it inside. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move this outside here like that and then we'll create this before we remove the um, you know but before we we dismiss the view controller right before we dismiss login view controller so we'll create register first right because essentially storyboard belongs to self just like presenting view controller belongs to self right and self is <coughs> login view controller up here, right? And then when we dismiss login view controller, you know, self gets kind of removed, right? Like this guy gets deleted. So so we'll put these two things outside here and then we'll present it, right? So let's give this a test. So if it works, you know, we should be able to, to bring up the login screen and then tap register and then that should put the login screen away, dismissing it. And when the dismissing thing is completed, it should present the new register view, right? So let's give that a try. So we'll test it here. And... So there's our view. And there's login. And, you know, let's say I don't have a user account, so I want to tap on register here. And so it should put away the login view and then present the register view. Something's weird with my constraints there, right? So we'll just ignore that. But uh, but anyway, there we go, right? So so that worked pretty good. Um, why don't you challenge yourself right now to use the same ideas in the register view, allowing you to to log in and click lo log in to. You know, if you click register, that should log you in and create a new account. Essentially, you can just call, you know, the um, login with username and password in the login manager. Or if you click login, it should take us back to the login screen in the same way that the login screen took us to the register screen, right? So you can do that, and then I'll do it in the next video, um, but uh, you can try it on your own, okay?